Good afternoon. Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, today I'm just doing a little quick shave to... I wanted to try out my fancy little Bronco shave brush. Uh, in my last video I pulled a knot out of the other handle uh, and I wanted to make this one. I made a lot of mistakes on this one. The walls of this are way too thin, but I'll tell you what, I got that Forstner bit just perfectly center, and I'm very lucky, <laughs> so I didn't think I was going to. Another mistake I made is I put in way too much epoxy. Uh, probably the last mistake I made was I, I, it was all blue at one time, and I spun it, and I sprayed it with, with uh, spray paint, then I put on some, uh, some uh, super glue but the finish on it came out really nice uh, then I decided I better add orange to it because it looks just too I don't know too dark so I masked it all off and I just touched up with some orange and it didn't come out that great but uh, hey what the heck I'm sure it works fine uh, anyway uh, so I'm going to be trying that today let's uh, warm it up real quick so today I'm going to be using the Razor Rock P160 and I will finish off with some I'll finish off with the uh, with the E-Shave White Tea After Shave. This stuff is fabulous, man. Really, really, really nice. I really, really, really <laughs> I just like it, man. I think it's great. I'm also going to finish off well, I, I guess I'm not going to use this after all, but I'm going to finish off with some good old-fashioned Club Men Pinot Original. Uh, I'm going to use also some of the... Uh, I am going to shave with my wonderful and fabulous Double Duck 7 8 Custom Scales by Guy Solis himself. <laughs> Uh, this is a wonderful blade, man. Uh, shaves about as well as my as my uh, Philharmonica, but I'm glad to have two of them. So I only got a few blades. So I got the I got the uh, uh, gold dollar that James. James and his son customized for me. I need to shave with that again. Uh, so, anyway, let's rinse off my hands right quick. I got my soap blooming. I don't need to bloom this too much, that's for sure. Uh, so let me just get situated here real quick. I like to I like to do this to it and kind of really work up a good sludge and just pour that right in there like that and I yes I am expecting my wife to call uh, ooh I like that long handle man so I wanted to, I wanted a handle with a knob on it and this was uh, this is my crude interpretation. Uh, actually, it's not my interpretation. This is actually what the tools I have will, will allow me to do. It's fine. You know, somebody uh, wanted, needed a brush and everything, I'd probably just give it to them, but I'm like that. That's why I don't make any money. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I'm expecting my wife to call. So today, I'm going to go get my timing gears and my timing chain and install them on film for all to see. I'd like to note that I have never done anything like that before. Uh, and you'll see more of it when I get into that engine compartment. Uh, how to take off the water pump, the fan, the alternator. Uh, all of that, and we have a little water here uh, to get to it. And can you imagine what a mechanic would charge me to do that? 
I mean, six, eight hundred dollars. I don't even know. You know, then they they always have a way to rip you off. I don't like mechanics. So now this, my fear with this brush is that it's going to be dropping hairs. It already is right now because I wonder if I didn't jack it up. Uh, and I pulled it. Love the lather. Lost some of its scent. So I used this yesterday. And I left the lid on, off, to let it dry up a little bit. And I ended up leaving it off like probably 24 hours. So that's not cool, but I have a backup one, so anyway. And away we go. I mean, just, uh, I don't know what it is about my thinning here. This one feels loose, too. Definitely noticed it when I was, uh, definitely noticed, I definitely noticed it when I was, uh, stropping. Sorry, the weird noise. Mm. Oh, so smooth. Try to encourage people for a more complete shaving experience to start honing. Little bristle right there. Got a whole bunch of cut hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about growing my beard out. Again, I should show you a picture of what I look like with it. Grow it out. Bronco brush. The Bronco brush. I don't know how the Broncos are going to be doing against their longtime rival, the uh, 
Chiefs. But Chiefs have always been more than formidable. I used to hate when the Chiefs came to Mile High and whipped our ass. I could not stand that. <laughs> the Chiefs. Alright. Here is pass to You never seen a guy shave his face before he goes out and climbs underneath a car, huh? <laughs> I probably wouldn't, but I have to go to the post office and drop some uh, package off or envelope off for a guy named Mark in Kentucky. Yeah, I got some razors at home, but I really wish someone would bring me something exciting to home, you know what I mean? I still hate shaving my chin. extra fat right there and just kind of just roll up man There we go, that's like a nice quick shave. 
My precious. Anyway, home. Yeah. Okay, bye. She's always pestering me. Can a man shave in peace around here? <laughs> Actually, she is the that girl right there is the absolute best. I am lucky. I am lucky to have that one. You know, she's she's really she's 16 years I've been with that girl, and I'll tell you, she has been almost flawless. You know, I only say almost because nobody's perfect. But uh, I've been with a lot of bad ones that. Would have been damn much better from this walk up and shoot you in the damn face. All right, do the witch hazel. Rose, name of that one. Okay, feels good. Feels super good, man. Super, super, super good. Uh, let's do. Let's do, I tell you, man, go buy e-shave. Uh, this white tea cream, after shave cream, is just phenomenal. Got a nice light scent. And it's just so absolutely soothing. There is nothing like this on the market. I can guarantee you that. I've tried all kinds of stuff. Uh, uh, Rainin uh, is partial to the Ginger's Garden aftershave balm. That's cool. A little bit of talking right here, but overall, nothing. All right, all right, guys. Uh, this is uh, Guy Sola's Gentleman's Edge, and just trying out the new long handled bulbous. And Bronco brush. Uh, now I have a lathe. I didn't, I didn't make this on a lathe. I have a lathe that um, I just need to make a frame for it, which is no big deal, and uh, and get a motor for it. So there's a guy over here, the one I bought that drill press from. Not the drill press. Uh, what did I buy from him. Anyway, uh, he he has a he has a uh, he has a uh, tool like that. The uh, so I can buy it from him. Man, my face is feel so good. All right, man. This is Gentleman's Edge, Denver, Colorado. And remember, every day, every single day is a good day for a shave. Y'all take care, man. Take care, man. Bye.